Hello, today I will show you how you can create your own full craft server on your computer, why it's not the best way sometimes, and what are alternatives you can use. I won't take too much time, so let's get straight to what we need. So for the beginning, we need a new Java version. I will use and highly recommend Java by Adoptium. We are going to other platforms and versions. Choose the Java version, it can be 18. It seems it's suitable for all the new versions and I downloaded the 19th. After that, we select the Windows system, x64 architecture, and we can download it as an installer and a zip archive. The installer will do everything automatically. However, I still like to do it through the archive, fully controlling the process of where everything will be installed and how it will look. So I'll download and show you the zip example. If you're going to do it through the installer, just install it as a regular program. When the download is complete, go to disk C. First, copy from our downloads. Let's move on to disk C. Program files. If there is no folder here, then create a Java folder and drop the downloaded Java here. Unzip it. Continue. That's not the end. Go to variable environments. Then go to path. Press edit. We find our Java folder. Go to bin and copy this entire path. Add new, insert our Java, and we raise it to the very top. If you have multiple Java installed like here, then you can choose the order of their use. And on the top, it will be the main Java of your computer. Save it and press OK. Now we need to make sure that we did everything right. Go to the command line and write the Java version command. As we can see, it shows us 19 Java. Everything is as we installed it. Perfect. Now let's create a folder on the desktop, my server. We go inside. Immediately, let's create a document. Name it Start, but press OK. We choose to edit and write the command here, Java XMX5G. Let's throw a normal garbage collection. Our adopt team has a flag, Shenandor. It will clean the garbage in set GC1. It cleans faster and better, not randomly, and only when the RAM is full. By the way, select as much RAM as your computer can pull and do not allocate the full amount of RAM that is on your PC because the system also needs RAM on other programs itself. Allocate about half of its volume and do not allocate more than 12 gigabytes. It is not necessary. Then we prescribe XX use Shan and Do GC. Next, we need to download the server core. Open the browser again, download paper MC. Click on the last archive and download, or choose the version you need and download it. When you download it, transfer it to the folder with the server. Rename it to paper.jar. Let's go back to the notes. Jar paper.jar, add plus, save all. Let's start it. It's downloading and installing. Just wait a bit. After a while, the server closes and new files will appear in your folder we need to open eula.txt and replace false with true. Save it and launch it again. So it's launching. If you don't want to see this window, then you need it at the end of the file. Start, but add a new one. Here we have a new folder for plugins and also server properties. You can change your port. Set up skill local. Install online mode false so that we can connect from an offline client without a license. I will not change anything else. Save it and stop it. Let's add a new one. It is written like this. Save it. Let's launch. Our server has started and there is no window now. Let's launch Minecraft and let's add our server. I replaced it and you add a new one. Press edit and we write here the IP or localhost 25565 or 0.0.0.0. 0 .0 .0 .0. Port 25565, it is not necessary to specify. Localhost. Let's just add it without a port. Update and our server launched with version 1.19.3. Let's restart. Enter. Let's change to the local host and join it. Let's look at our console. As you can see, we have joined the server. Let's take an operator. Now we can turn on creative mode. So this is the whole process of creating a Minecraft server on a computer. But if you want to play with your friends, then you need to install an admin VPN additionally or Hamachi, or you can open the operating system on your own PC from your network. For this, in most cases, you need to call the provider and agree on a wide IP address regarding open ports, then play with settings with the firewall on the router. And then only after that, you will be able to play normally with your friends. I will not show it in this video because this video is not about this. This one is about the process of creating the server itself, but I will show you a good alternative. If you want to save your time and nerves, it's hosting godlike. This does not mean that you need to buy something. We can go to the free tab, Hosts, and choose the game you want. In our case, it is Minecraft. 
In fact, it is intuitively easy to create here, but if you don't figure it out, there will be a description below and a video link where I show how to completely create a Minecraft server thanks to this hosting. Well, I will finish on this. I hope this video was useful to you and you learned a lot of new things. As always, I do not say goodbye to you and I just say see you soon.